Technology has shaped our world extraordinarily in the past century and will continue to do so at an even greater level in the future. It makes you wonder, what will be the single most significant technological event to take place in human history? Now this is quite a bold question to ask. After all, with so many technologies being developed today, how can it be argued that one technology will cause a more lasting impact than another? What I'm talking about, of course, is artificial intelligence. It's something that can be divided into different ranks of capabilities. Remember Deep Blue, that chess computer that defeated world champion Garry Kasparov in 1996? You might think it's quite smart, because the average person can't defeat it at chess. However, it's actually considered to be in the lowest category of artificial intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence. This is because it can't do anything other than play chess really well. That's why all the AI systems that currently exist in the world, from autopilots to chess computers, to that digital assistant that lives in your phone with a snazzy name like Siri or Cortana, they're all considered to be artificial narrow intelligence. The next rank of intelligence is artificial general intelligence. When an AI has become sufficiently advanced for it to think and act just like a human being and be considered intelligent across all kinds of metrics. The final rank is artificial super intelligence. When an AI has completely surpassed the cognitive capabilities of humanity. Now, this sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie. Something that would happen maybe in a century or two, but it's actually closer than you would expect. Now imagine if we could design an AI that can program something way better than our current systems, but still below our intelligence. Such an AI could analyze its own strengths and weaknesses and program a better version of itself. Now this more intelligent AI is even better programming, so it can make an even better version of itself. And on and on and on, you get the idea. Exponential growth of intelligence that will reach a point of development at which we can no longer stop this process. It's called the singularity. In order to better understand where we are at on this path to artificial superintelligence, I interviewed Murray Shanahan, Professor of Cognitive Robotics at Imperial College London. What exactly does your work involve? The work right now is more to do with, um, more to do with neural networks and simulating building computer models of the brain. So, yeah. uh, and that's, that's been the focus of my work for, for oh, almost 10 years now. But uh, in the past, I was very, I did, you know, a certain amount of work in, in robotics. And that's why my title is Professor of Cognitive, Cognitive Robotics. So is the Open Worm Project, is that similar to what you do? You've probably also heard of the Human Brain Project. Yeah. Which is, so, so that's on a much, you know, enormously bigger scale, of course. Um, so even when, the, I mean, they're interested in, in, at the moment, trying to emulate a mouse's brain, not a human brain, but a mouse's brain, which is already on a very, very much bigger scale than C. elegans because there's you know like something like 75 million neurons in a mouse's brain um, and the kind of work that I do is a bit more is slightly more abstract than that so so we tend to think think along the lines of suppose suppose that we we you know collect we have a network of a thousand neurons and we can sort of build a computer model of each of those thousand neurons and we can build a model of the way they're all connected together and what kind of you know, ways of connecting to them together is going to give rise to the most complex and interesting behaviour. So, so it's a bit more kind of mathematical and abstract. So we're not copying a, an exact brain, but rather we're making a kind of synthetic network and trying to study study what happens there in order to understand kind of deeper principles in a way. Artificial intelligence will completely change our world because our world relies on our intelligence. By creating something vastly more intelligent to us, we unlock so much more that we did not have access to before. An ape's brain does not have the capacity to build a computer or to send people to the moon. And in the same sense, our brains do not have the capacity to achieve what a super intelligence could achieve. In the end, whether AI is used for war or to make the world a better place comes down to the following question. If we were able to control such an AI, would humanity use it for good or for evil? All the sources used can be found in the description below. Thanks for watching the video.